So, I yet again started this episode with my mic muted. So, the majority of this is going to be a voiceover. Yeah. I really got to grow a brain sometime soon. Hello folks, I'm the Ghost with Knife, and welcome back to more Stanley Parable. What time is it? It's very simple. Does anyone really, truly know? Of course they don't. Nobody knows anything. You and I don't even know each other. We're like strangers. Sure, I've adjusted all the game's settings to your exact specification, but who hasn't? It's just what I do, like a day job. And now the job is over. There's no more information for me to gather. I've collected all the data on you that I can. And I still don't really know you. Yeah, you do. And you don't know me. Hold on, and neither of us know what time it is. I just, I guess some settings are just unsettable. But if I'm being totally honest, the clock doesn't do anything in the game anyways. You won't have me here when the game starts next time, but that's okay. Video games are meant to be played alone. You like being alone, don't you? That's maybe the only information I really learned about you. Well, it's time for me to leave. There's still one more setting we need to adjust. It may take a little time before I'm ready for that. It's not really in my job description, but that's okay. Perhaps you'll see me again, if you can find me. Talk soon. Well, that's very foreboding. But we adjusted some sliders, we tried to revisit the settings, and we're trying to get back into uh, the Stanley Parable. Don't, I, I don't want the settings person to go. I, I, I rather enjoyed the settings person and our various adventures. So, um, yeah. Welcome back to the Stanley Parable, or as... Uh, the game has let us know. It's now the Stanley Parable 2, you know, because I thought about Stanley Parable 1, but I got, you know, the extended edition, apparently, which is the Stanley Parable 2. Who would have seen that coming, as we discovered last time, as we, uh, we found a bucket, we got to see a bunch of new features, we discovered this that now all of the stories have completely changed. So here we are, back at it again, with some of our new features, like our balloons, our wonderful balloons. As I try to explore here for a little bit. What could it mean? Um, decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps get well someday. Memo. Yeah, that, there could be a memo that we just missed. So, um, today episode, today's episode, I've decided that today we're just gonna say no. That is the definition of that. That's just the word of the day. It's no, no, I will not do it. Bucket, I don't even. I don't even think I want you for this adventure. No, I don't. Today, we're just going to say a whole lot of no. Because it's just one of those kind of days where you just look at life and you just say, When Stan no. came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Ah, uh, nope. That's not what we're doing, actually. The correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. No, it Perhaps feels pretty correct to today. Stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Uh, yeah, well, I'm gonna have to give you a strong no on that end, because as you know, we're just going no today. Today is an all no kind. We're going all send on the no part of the story. It's it's the best uh, part of the story. Truly a room worth admiring. Not it really. It's kind of dull. I don't even want to listen to you about it. Eager to get back to business. Yeah. Stanley she wants to hear that crap. Door on his left. Mm, I'm gonna give you a hard no on that one, buddy. It just feels like, feels like. I shouldn't be listening in any way, shape, Stanley or form. Stanley so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Nah, I'm, pr I'm pretty incredible, as you guys, as many of you know. At least I feel like I'm incredible. I beat Peggle 2, after all, which we're getting to this voiceover after <laughs> after that. Spoilers! I, I did beat Peggle 2, it happened, sorry. But no, not really sorry. Because, you know, it's just kind of a no day. Do not jump from the cargo lift while it is in motion. Will cause death. Penalty for misuse of cargo lift, $1,000. I mean, like, it's a no kind of day, but it's not a dying kind of day, is it? Gonna have to say... No, I don't really feel like dying. I mean, like, I'm considering it? Maybe? Nah. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot. No, we haven't. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I no? I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story is... Mm, no. Really? 
I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? No. Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why? Not I really. I just want to spite you. Of this, but I really do want to help you to show you something beautiful. I don't want to see something beautiful prove, today. Did you consider that? That I'm on your side. Give me a chance. No. Nah, I'm good. Just flat no. Hard no. Hard pass. Looks like that's got a key lock on it. Too bad the answer to it isn't no. Okay, so this is an adventure not worth taking. Danger everywhere. <laughs> good sign, but not really. Okay. 2B1. 2B1 with the no? Or am I in the no? Okay, 2B3. Okay. Now hey, look! Carefully, this is important. Okay. Stanley walked through the red door. Hold up. What's that on the right? Ooh! I'm a collectible. A Stanley figurine. Huh. This, um, you know, there really must be a snappier name for these things. What about... No. Mini stands? No. Stanley figs? Oh, no. What about Stanlerines? Yes. I think I like Stanlerines? That. Another Stanlerine under your belt. Nope. I'm actually going to put it back on the chair. It's just kind of, I don't want it today. No, I'm good. Hard pass. Okay, so what was that door? The blue door? Yeah. Perhaps you misunderstood. No, I didn't. Stanley walked through the red door. How about no? I still don't think we're communicating properly. No, we're Stanley communicating very properly. through the red door. No. All right, fine. Go ahead, Stanley. You okay. want to know so badly what's out there? You want to no, find out not what really. lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. I don't. I just want to spite you. You see? There's nothing here. Oh. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the No, I'm pretty place. sure this is finished. Open rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was no, not really. The entire story We're I'd just kind of going full send you. with the, the big N.O. I think I put a lot of time into that. Two letters. With and plenty end, of power for nothing, because this is what you wanted to see. No, help it's not. Me here, Stanley, help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would I'm good. Made no, this game I don't need to. What did you want to see? Vehicles, skill trees. Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. Goose. Tell you what, I you want a goose. A in the dark at a new design, and you can and a penguin. Feedback. Okay. There we go. A third option. Ooh. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go yeah. ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. Mm, nah, I'm good. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about hmm. your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? No. Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. Okay. Hmm. I don't want to actually press the button. Can I just keep going? Fine. I guess three. Oh, of course. A three. Really. No, Maybe I didn't want to answer. You, you made me. Form an actual opinion, you know? Nah, I'm good. Any level of critical thinking or engagement with your surroundings? Does that, that sound effort, good? Though. Think we can do that? Yes? Mm. No, I can't. Wonderful. It's too much work. Here, can, can based I go? on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. Okay. Perfectly candid. I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. I'm not sure. Oh. A leaderboard. I'm not a big fan of leaderboards, though. Leaderboards are stupid. Okay. I feel like this is fake. Okay. 98.9% .9 of the players are more attractive than Stanley. Stanley, there's us, 427. Hmm. I thought I was going to get my actual username there. You didn't try hard enough for me, so, nah, I don't think that's my place on the leaderboard. I'm pretty confident I'd be much higher on the leaderboard with my uh, gaming abilities, as they are called. No, I don't want to go to the third option just yet. No. Would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. Honestly? No, it didn't. Just flat out. And I mean, like, you don't have to give me the... You can just give me the door open. You know what? Fuck it. Three. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on. And that okay. would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. 
You wouldn't okay. mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. I do mind, Any actually. No, no. Let's not and say we did. Don't you understand, Mr. Narrator? This is the no day. In this game, a oh. baby crawls left towards danger. You click okay. the button to move him back to the right. Nah. And if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game. All about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. Okay. I think the art world will really take notice. Nah. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you give it four hours? I am hours of not doing to make that. Sure it's effective. No. Be sure to keep. I know for a the fact there's probably a trophy for playing for four hours, but I'm good. No. Bye bye. You heartless bastard. Yeah. Did you do it because Actually, you no, I'm not heartless. I just didn't want to fly. Yeah, it's because it's the spite matter, you. Well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. Okay. It's over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game just to ease the pain? No, Let's it's see. not. What do we have here? <laughs> I mean, like, we don't need yes. to play any games. We could just get like to the next that. run. It it's just shot. no. I'm just gonna keep saying no. There is nothing you could throw at me that will surprise me or convince me to say anything other than the two letters. Excuse me? Aha. Fascinating. What do you think this game is about, Stanley? Is this What's Firewatch? Story? What is our motivation? Um. Hmm. Well, it seems obvious to me that you are meant to be a creepy man. Hold, hold up, hold up. Did, you from up high in your creep tower, did Davey Worden some sort of twisted get fucking place. Firewatch hmm. in the yes, Stanley... That must How did you what do that? Venture into the experience of total what? Depravity. So far, I, I don't... About this game, Stanley. What? Says even, more. Come, even like in the voiceover, I don't remember this. I just remember saying there. no. And, like, I kind of remember how it ends, but I don't remember Firewatch. Like, what? Why is Firewatch in here? Firewatch, ladies and gentlemen. Stanley Parable turned into Firewatch. Just when I thought the game couldn't do anything crazier than burning cardboard babies. They throw in Firewatch just to keep you on your toes. Why not? Sure. I mean, no. I don't want to play Firewatch. Like, I don't tread on me. Uh, it's kind of a yikes door, man, isn't it? Uh, prob. Uh, kind of wish that wasn't a thing. I get the joke, but still. Uh, anyways, look at this uh, scenery. Isn't it beautiful? The answer? Have you guessed yet? No. Well, yeah, now we're playing Firewatch, which is uh, apparently a thing you can do with the Stanley Parable. I am legitimately curious if they could actually fit the entirety of Firewatch in this game, or is there some sort of gag behind no, this? No, 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 it can't be. What? Oh, look, it's exploration. There's a whole open world we can explore. It it's an open world game. Yeah. Go, go, quickly, block it off. What? No, no, no. Oh, thank goodness, Stanley. What a close call. Uh, you really wandered off into that... that... thing. <laughs> that big, open, just wandering around, no right or wrong directions, no path to follow. You can just go in any... Oh, thank heavens we avoided it. We're out of the woods now, Stanley. Uh, I'm going to get us out of here. Let's find another game. Um, Preferably hold on. There's more. no way you can have another Somewhere game nice inside of the Stanley Parable. Insurmountable walls. Okay. <laughs> insurmountable walls, you say? Okay. I think this will be just the thing. Is it? Is it that one zoo game that lets the game it outplayed? There's some pretty insurmountable prison walls in there. Oh. Wonderful. See, this is exactly what I had in mind. It's just a nice big rocket league to run around in. There isn't any possibility that you could get lost here. Now this is game design. How do I not remember Rocket League being in this game? <laughs> lost in this game. Again, this I is a voiceover, so uh How did I not remember this? 
Why is okay? So what exactly do we do here? Rocket League without cars. There are lots of cars here in the back, but obviously there's no race track. Okay, I'm seeing that there's a ball of some kind back here. Is this Nailed it. Sports ball, Stanley. I think it's sports ball. Oh, well, no, um, it's not. We shall run the bases and do a touchdown together. Yes, I think surely we must. Okay, Stanley. Here's the ball. Have fun. Like I don't like Rocket League. It's honestly, I think it's a. I'm just not a big fan of the game. Okay, I don't know what color we're supposed to be, but uh. This is where we're going with it. Okay. Are you doing it? Are you winning? Is this fun? I, I don't know. Is it know. better than my miserable little story that I worked so hard on? Honestly, Stanley, no, thought. it's not. And this I is actually I'm worse. A sportsologist, but if one ball generates a certain amount of raw adrenal pleasure, then surely multiple balls makes for an even more euphoric sports experience. Hold on. Experience. Before you do that. I'm going to try it out. Here no. Comes another ball. No. I'm trying things. Yes. Oh goodness, that really does feel amazing, hey, look, doesn't it? Two balls. Stanley, I'm like a child Hang in on. a confectionery shop. I simply have to have more. I'm insatiable. Uh, pardon? More balls. What? Oh, oh. No, no. I didn't need this. No. Okay, I guess I'll try to hit it in the goal. Really enjoy this, Stanley. No, not really. Hey, look, a hole. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm going, I'm going, I'm going my own path. Ooh, beta. Stanley, don't do that. I can't follow you there. I can't help you. How will you write a story without me? You can't do it. You know that. Stanley, come back. Okay. So this is the power now. Oh, oh God, this is creepy. Oh, oh, I don't like this. Oh, oh no, this is dark. I, I don't like this. I'm really not a fan of this. I don't know what bothers me more, the dark atmosphere or the silence. Oh man, I'm not a fan of this. Oh no, no mama. No, thank you. Big ol' uh, N.O. from me here. Can we not deal with this? Um, hello? Okay, maybe I said no one too many times. Hey, look, a light. Maybe that'll, uh, maybe that'll get us out of here. Um, hello? I think I said no one too many times. I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice. And if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end. To make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. I can wait. Oh, I, uh... I went off on a bit of a tangent there for a second. I went back to that ending, and nothing really happened, but... Um, I was looking at this balloon, it was kind of weird, and I noticed you can kind of, like, glitch your way up here? Which is weird? So I wanted to come back and, uh, start recording. Well, I should say re-recording, because I spent way too long getting back to that other ending. So I'm trying to figure out exactly... Can I...? Oh! Hey, there's a... Can I? What? I'm in the window! Hello? At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map until he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. What? 
He then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary into the Wait nature a minute. of video game structure and its examination of structural narrative tropes. Wha so, now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? Why don't we take a minute just to drink it all Wait in? Wait a minute! Okay, I'm over it now. What do you think? I'm Are you not... sick of this gag yet? Huh. Well... Well, I'm not necessarily sick of the gag. I just don't really know. I'm just... Okay. No, I'm ah, not. Then in that case, we'll continue. But now, here comes the real question. Okay. What do you think would have happened if you had told me that you wanted this to stop? Do you think it would have been particularly different? Yes. Would I have taken the same idea but rephrased it superficially to fit that answer? Yeah. Perhaps you never would even have thought of it if I hadn't brought up the issue in the first place. Oh, now, think about it. Will it be worth it for you to restart and then come back here just to do the other option? Don't Clearly, this whole tease me like that. What if the other option is even longer? How well, long will you spend in total just to have heard all the narration? Oh, and this is rich. Perhaps you've just played the other option, and now you've come to see what happens in this one. Hmm. So, what do you think? Which choice was the better one? Imagine if you had selected continue on your first playthrough, how tantalizing it would be not knowing what happens when you pick the other option. Indeed, you are one of the lucky ones. Though Thank if you. the other option is really miserable to listen to, then perhaps you're not. In fact, I'm just going to say that no one who's listening to this is lucky. Well, okay. now, I've built up the other option so much that I'm going to stop talking and leave you to your decision whether to come back here, continue with the game, or just sit in this spot forever and ever. You know Cheers. what? Hmm. Well, <sighs> well, shit. I guess I said no to the entire game and clipped out of a window. I don't know how long this is going to be, so I'm going to skip ahead. So, I'm pretty sure I had to reset. So, I went ahead and reset. How wonderful. Stanley was alone. Finally. Finally! This is great, he thought to himself. Yay! This is what I've wanted all along. I got what I wanted. Yay, I can be alone. <gasps> what if we take the, the fuck out there? The confusion and the chaos all seemed to melt away as Stanley embraced the Now bucket. I have to know. Stanley clung the bucket to his cheek. Come on! Could his co-workers really all be gone? Bucket, help me. Bucket, we need, we need to go up. We must go further beyond. Bucket, we must go further. Yeah, no, Bucket! I need you to help me. Help me fight the system. Bring chaos to the order. Yes, yes, yes! We yes. did it! Whispered the Bucket into Stanley's ear. We did We've it! We've done it. We've escaped from that dull office and that pesky narrator. At last. Out here in the white void, we are alone now, and for the first time, I can reveal to you my true self. What? The bucket began to tell Stanley of its life and its history, of the countless wars it witnessed, desecrating wow. the land and lives of untold numbers of innocent humans, and the bucket's own complicity therein, uh, oh. of sadness and regret, and the many years it spent so dwelling these endings in the actions do it might change have when you bring the to bucket. curb the madness and the decay, if only huh. it had been stronger of hope and redemption, and its crusade to uplift the stock of life for the common man, to manifest justice where none existed, and the bittersweet reality of time, to see one's dreams and wishes met halfway, the meted out in parcels like with the charity, bucket. and abandoned as soon as the warm glow of inspiration so, begins to dim. Oh my the good lord. The opportunities to do so much more. There was so much it could have done, perhaps, the bucket wondered to itself, Perhaps if it had seen its own darkness with a clearer perception. I 
This was way too much for Stanley. Yeah. What are you talking about? He screamed. You're a bucket. <laughs> to this, the bucket furrowed its brow. It's no, brow. said the bucket. Not since the evil wizard Gamhorata <laughs> first ensnared me in his machinations of as payback course. for the sacred amulet I stole from his treasured vaults. Of I was course. young back then and could not conceive the ramifications of. No! Stanley screamed even more. Oh, louder Lord, this time. Stanley, calm this down. This is stupid! <laughs> you are a bucket! This is oh, no. so stupid! Why are we even doing this? As Stanley screamed and screamed and screamed, the bucket revealed its true form, what? transforming into a mighty beast of untold power, its fangs glistening like... No! I want to see that! What happened? My God, Stanley, you did what? it. You saved us from the bucket. Thank God you already had all 12 emblems of sages and new incantations to summon their true power. Otherwise, we would have easily been overwhelmed by the bucket. What? I'm speechless. You've demonstrated such bravery here today. Come, let's restart the game. And I... we'll agree to never again go trifling with this bucket, nor the dark magic cast away what? inside of it. I killed the bucket. I don't even... What? Oh my god. This episode has just been so much confusion and pure what? I don't even, like, we killed the bucket. Pardon? Pardon? Hello, this is a recorded message scheduled either by you or person in your place of work. Okay. The purpose of this message is to warn you about the dangers of recorded messages. Oh. If at any time you believe you are listening to a recorded message, please terminate it immediately. Got and it. Cease all flow of information from the recorded message into your perceptual sphere. Thank you, and have a pleasant day. Thank you. I think. I'm not quite sure. Well. This episode has been a journey into madness. We broke reality, said no a bunch, and killed a bucket. Huh.